Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. A while back, I made a video on the topic of how do I go about affording all of this Lego. And it was really popular and a lot of people commented in the comment section saying they wanted to know more on that topic. So today we're going to be addressing a similar topic but has a lot to do with how I afford all of this Lego. And that's how do I go about paying myself? Now there actually is a lot more to it than what meets the eye. It is quite the process and I want to go about showing you guys how I pay myself as a full-time Lego YouTuber guy. So today we're going to be discussing topics on uh, where the revenue comes from, uh, how I accumulate the revenue, and how I actually physically go about paying myself. Now what sparked my mind and got me thinking about making this video? Well, recently my mom sent me an article that was posted on the Edmonton Journal, I believe it was, and it was in regards to all of these different people who are influencers like myself or YouTubers or they have some sort of online job and nobody was claiming taxes or paying the taxes affiliated to the income that they were producing online. Now I'm from Canada and the article that was on the website was stating that the government of Canada was actually going through and auditing a bunch of influencers and YouTubers like myself because they found that a lot of them were not paying taxes. Now what happened was in 2020 and 2021, a lot of people were actually at home and they weren't at their jobs. So they were looking for other ways to generate revenue and they turned to things like YouTube or Amazon affiliates or stuff like that. So what happens is, is it starts sort of innocently with a lot of people and you know, they make 20, 30, 40, $50, $100, $200 a month. And then they don't claim that income. And then it just sort of blows up from there and they still don't claim that income and it gets them in a lot of hot water. So that article was definitely an interesting read and it got me thinking, well, maybe I better share some of the truths and realities about being a YouTuber and sort of share how I go about paying myself. So here's that article that I was talking about. It says the CRA is watching you auditors sourcing social media for unreported income from influencers. And then it just goes more in depth. I've left a link for this article in the description. And this quote is pretty funny. If somebody's declaring less than $5,000 and they have a Mercedes Benz in their Instagram post, it's clear there's a question to be answered. Yeah, it just sort of goes over all of this different stuff and discusses all the different types of income that weren't claimed. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. And it's just interesting to me because a lot of these people uh, that get into doing this don't really know what they're getting into. So I'm gonna provide you a little bit more insight on what I do and how to sort of tackle this problem. So please pardon my desk here. It's an absolute disaster. We've been rebuilding the Lego city and doing other Lego related things. And as you know, it can become quite a mess. And I don't feel like cleaning it up right now. I feel like making this video. So I think the first thing that a lot of people might not understand is that when you become a YouTuber or an influencer, you are in fact a self-employed person. And me personally, what I decided to do is actually open up an Alberta limited company. So I'm operating Brixie as a legal entity. What does that mean? Well, that means that Brixie itself is a corporation. And what happens is, is when I earn uh, AdSense revenue, that's the ads on my YouTube videos, or if I earn Amazon affiliate revenue, or if, uh, if I get any sort of tips or anything like that, or if I uh, buy Lego and then I sell Lego for a higher price and I make a little bit of money. What happens is, is that's the company making all of that money. So the money will go into a bank account that is owned by Brixie, not me. And that bank account then will have a lump sum of money in there. And that's the money that will, I will use to buy things like Lego computers, desks, uh, anything like that, anything that's an expense that's occurred by Brixie will come out of that account, of course. I'm not paying for it personally because it's the company that is buying the stuff in order to operate. It's an operating cost, right? 
Now, the thing is, is I am very fortunate. I'm, I, I feel very blessed. I've worked very hard to get here, but I have the ability to write off my Lego. Now, why do I have the ability to write off my Lego and what does that mean? That means I can use the company's money to buy Lego. So I can use pre-tax money to buy Lego. Why can I do that though? That's because Brixie is a Lego based company that shows profit. If you want to write off your Lego, you unfortunately cannot do that unless you have a company that is showing profit. And I mean, the government's not just going to let us open up companies and run them in a mass deficit and, and write off all our Lego. You have to show profit in order to write things off in your business. There's, that's the bottom line. So that's why I'm very lucky and I'm, I'm able to do it just because I've, I've created a company that shows profit, obviously. Uh, and and can write off the Lego. So that's that's exciting and it didn't profit the first few years. And obviously I've been I haven't had this company for a very long time. I've actually opened it in uh, 2021. So this is the first year of the company's existence. But prior to that I was running it all under my personal taxes, which is a little bit different. Today I want to show you how I pay myself through a corporation. Yeah, so essentially we have all these different entities. There's money coming in from all these different entities or whatever it is. That money gets pooled into a bank account and then I can spend out of that bank account for business expenses. Uh, business expenses being Lego or anything that costs or costs affiliated to operating my Lego based YouTube channel, Lego based business. Once I have enough money in there to actually pay myself, which obviously I do now because this is my job, this is my business. Now I have to figure out how do I actually pay myself? I can't just take the money from that, the money that YouTube gives me and say, ha ha, look at me, I've got all this money now, I can just go and spend it. Because technically when you get paid by YouTube, it's not like having a regular job. They're not going to take off um, your taxes or your CPP or your EI or anything like that. So essentially now Brixie, this legal entity has to pay Jordan. How does the money go from Brixie to Jordan. Well, I actually use an online application. So obviously I'm a Canadian, so some of the stuff might differ depending on what country you live in, but I actually go to uh, Canada Revenue Agency Payroll Deductions Online Calculator. If you just Google it, it pops up, and I'm sure something in the States or in your country, there's something very similar. And then essentially once you go in here, you can just say that you earn a salary, fill in all these different details here, uh, select the province that you're in and then I pay myself monthly so I say monthly there so let's just put the 23rd in there and then you're gonna say how much you want to pay yourself a month so if you want to pay yourself four thousand dollars so be it so you'd be earning forty eight thousand dollars a year or whatever the number is if it's three thousand dollars two thousand dollars ten thousand dollars forty thousand dollars whatever it is I personally skip all this stuff here and hit next on the bottom and then I make this selection for CPP and pensionable earnings. I just leave that blank because I haven't exceeded those yet. So this is going to calculate how much federal tax you have to pay, how much provincial tax you have to pay, uh, your total tax deductions, your CPP deductions, which uh, my employer will have to match. So you have to go print and save combined results. And then that's going to download a PDF. And when you open up that PDF, you'll see that uh, your employer and employee both have to remit CPP. So you have to remit a total of 40420 in CPP and 599.75 in tax. So I have to remit $1,003.95 a month if I want to get paid $4,000 a month. Essentially print this page here and then I remit this every quarter. So every three months. And this is due on the 15th of of the following month after the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. So uh, for example, the first quarter was due on April 15th and this had to be remitted to the government and you can do it right through your CRA website. And obviously that is going to change depending on which country you live in. So there you saw the online application on how I actually calculate how much tax I owe to the government and how much CPP I have to remit. And then I remit that quarterly. So bottom line is, is how do I pay myself? Well, Brixie, the company has hired Jordan and is paying me a, a salary each month. And now Jordan is paying 
taxes on that salary. Now, obviously there's also corporate income tax as well. So it's, it's a much lower rate. So whatever, at the end of the year, whatever Brixie has left in its bank account or however much it's profited, you have to pay corporate income tax on that as well, but that's a much lower tax rate. And you can do things to lower your taxes like that, like that company, if it has enough money, it can buy houses as down payments and those are expenses and it lowers the company's profitability because it, has now occurred a new expense of putting a down payment on a house and is paying a mortgage. And there's other ways to reduce your taxes within that company. Uh, but there's not really a way to reduce your taxes as an individual other than buying like RRSPs and stuff like that. You can do that on an individual basis. But the bottom line is I pay tax just as everybody else does. I know there's been the past that people say that I'm I'm fraudulent, not very many, but there's some been some cases people saying that I'm that I'm schemish and I don't pay taxes and, and stuff like that. And I just want to let you guys know that I pay just as much tax as anyone out there. The difference is, is I have a company that I operate and I pay personal tax and I also pay corporate income tax at the end of the year. Obviously, all of these expenses that come out of the Brixie bank account have to be logged. I have to save all the receipts and each of these things get an entry. And it's a big and complex system of accounting and bookkeeping and stuff like that that most accountants will do. Uh, this literally, this is just the surface and we could go a lot deeper, but I'm not gonna do that today. If you don't know how to do all this stuff, you're gonna have to hire an accountant and that's gonna come out of that company bank account because you're gonna have to pay somebody big bucks to do all your taxes. Luckily for me, uh, my father-in-law is essentially a chartered accountant and he is teaching me and Jose all of uh, all of the information that we need to know how to operate QuickBooks and everything like that and operate and do all of our own personal taxes and uh, uh, corporate uh, returns and everything like that. So we can, uh, fortunately enough for us, we have, we know people that can teach us how to do it all in-house. So it's uh, pretty exciting. That's really about it for today. I just wanted to share a little bit of insight with you guys on uh, how I go about paying myself from the company. Obviously, this is just like a brief overview. I could go on for an hour about this and you could show you each and every single step and each and every single thing through QuickBooks and this and that and all these different things and logging all the expenses and, and sort of the whole rigmarole behind it. But bottom line is I just wanted to let you guys know that Brixie gets paid. Uh, Brixie pays me. I pay uh, income tax based on that. And there's a whole bunch more stuff behind the scenes. Let me know what you think. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks for coming by. Bye.